pound for pound sports entertainment hit the like button comment below share do all of that for your boy with that being said we get right to it like we always do oh man there's a lot of things going on in sport of boxing right now a lot of things that can happen a lot of things that will happen a lot of things that i and a lot of other people honestly don't see happening not now maybe at the end of the year most likely in the summer of next year right i'm gonna start off with ryan garcia Javante tank davis floyd mayweather oscar de la hoya that whole situation right oh man okay ryan garcia comes off of a, a big win over javier fortuna i think he drops javier fortuna with three or four well we'll say three times stops him early ryan looked phenomenal the jab was working uh, controlling the distance you know moving his feet um very 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 fast he, his speed was there which you know was great left hooks was beautiful you know he wasn't falling for javier fortuna's uh you know overhand rights trying to you know luke campbell ryan garcia you know what i'm saying because a lot of times that ryan garcia pulls back with his chin in the air you know ryan garcia is making a, a lot of good adjustments he's looking good right looks focused he's building some momentum um he calls out tank not only that he goes to the espies last night calls out tank on stage he's been on twitter going crazy calling out tank and that's cool great promotion um, some people are gonna call it clout chasing cool great mayweather responds mayweather gets on fight hype you know he's he's telling you know he's telling ryan garcia and oscar de la hoya hey y'all gotta make a sacrifice if you really want to fight that bad you gotta make sacrifices just like floyd mayweather jr did against oscar de la hoya when they fought oscar de la hoya was the a side oscar de la hoya was the bigger guy oscar de la hoya picked the gloves he picked the judges he picked everything. Floyd Mayweather had the opportunity. He took the deal. You know, he agreed to all of Oscar's uh, demands. That's 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 it. He didn't control anything. And there's nothing wrong with what Floyd Mayweather did. He betted on himself. He even said in the fight hype interview that he knew he was the better fighter. He went out there, and it was a close fight. I ain't gonna lie. I think it was a split decision win for Floyd Mayweather. It is what it is. He won the fight, right? Um. With that being said, Floyd Mayweather said, if Ryan Garcia wants this fight with Javante Tank Davis, sacrifice. Meaning, uh, Tank is the A side. That's without question. Tank is the A side. We know Ryan Garcia fans are going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. You're welcome to your opinion. There's nothing wrong with how you feel. Okay. Ryan Garcia and his team may, might think he's the A side. Okay. Numbers don't lie. Check the numbers, check the gate numbers check the pay-per-view numbers it is what it is you might have more instagram followers more youtube followers in this case that's not transferring over to actual real numbers of putting people in the stands that's not transfering over to pay-per-view uh, buys pay-per-view uh, sales that's not transferring over. not saying they don't do great numbers but tank does bigger numbers according to you know his side of what they say so it is what it is not to mention Tank's not calling Ryan out. You know what I'm saying? Not not to the not 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 the way that Ryan Garcia is calling Tank out. I mean, he's already said, okay, if the fight happens cool, you know, I'm knock you out, blah, 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 blah. But other than that, Tank has opponents lined up. He could fight Michelle Rivera, you know, the Muhammad Ali guy. Um, he can do a, a you could do a Roley rematch, you know. According to some people, Roley was up on the cards before he got knocked out. And Roley, you know, he he hey man. Love him, hate him. He made you want to tune in to watch him get knocked out. Um, we had the uh, Isaac Cruz. That, that that was a great fight. A lot of people calling for that rematch. Um, man, it was. He's got some opponents. He has some opponents. He could go to 140. He could take on a Regis. Regis, you know, progress. Like he's got he's got options. Tank has options. He doesn't have to do anything. So on his side of the street, since you know this is how we talk in boxing now, this side of the street. But uh, on Javante Tank Davis' side of the street, he has opponents lined up no matter who he picks. At this point, he could go fight a bum off the street and, and sell out the Barclays, sell out Staples Center, do bigger numbers every uh, Atlanta. He can go back home to Baltimore. It's going to be a sold-out crowd, and people are going to tune in to support Tank because he is, he, he's crossed over. 
when you watch a tank fight, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be some drama. It's going to be a knockout, a devastating knockout in which the world of the, the social media world would go crazy with memes. Okay. Ryan Garcia, he does a good job. Oscar De La Hoya, um, he's responded to what Floyd Mayweather said. And uh, Floyd Mayweather said that on Fight Hype. So go find that interview. Check that out. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Fight Hype. But uh, Oscar De La Hoya came out and actually got on Twitter and said, Mayweather was the smaller guy. I chose the gloves. I sold the most. I was older. I dictated everything and made the majority of the $150 million pot. So tell Javante to do the same thing if he really believes in himself. You know what that is? That is one side saying we're the A side and the other side saying we're the A side. No, we run this. That's what makes me think this fight is not going to happen. Oscar De La Hoya did a live recently and he came out and, you know, was talking to the people and saying that he's the one that is going to make this fight happen. He's the only one. He also said that he doesn't know who to talk to. Should I talk to Al Heyman? Do I talk to Floyd Mayweather? I got to make some calls to try to make this fight happen. I mean, Floyd has been pretty transparent and honest about it. Like, hey, do you want this fight to happen? Fight's going to happen at 135, in which Ryan Garcia, his last two fights, um, last fight was at 140 against Javier Fortuna. Fight before that was at a catch weight against uh, Tygo, in which he, he went 12. A lot of people were not impressed with him. But guess what? He's building momentum. He's more sharper. He's looking good. So <sighs> both sides got to sit down, okay? Put the numbers on the table. Sit down. Take your emotion out of it. Say, I don't care if you feel like, oh, my fighter's bigger than this. And he's not the, he's not the, my fighter's the A side. He might, your fighter may not be the A side. Okay, Oscar, your fighter may not be the A side. Not to mention, you're running out of options. This is what makes me think this fight's not going to happen. Not to mention, Mr. Jojo Diaz got on, uh, so got on Twitter and posted that him and Ryan are supposed to be fighting. He wants that Ryan fight. Him and Ryan got, a, you know, they're, they got a fight lined up. I already knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Jojo Diaz, Ryan Garcia, that's one of the fights that's going to happen right before, you know, um, Javante Tate Davis and Ryan Garcia probably fight most likely in the summertime, maybe end of the year next year. Look at the sport of boxing. That's all you got to do. This whole thing is a, is, a, is a puzzle piece. Look at everything in the sport of boxing and what's going on, okay? We got... Uh, Crawford Spence, we're trying to finalize that. Some people saying it's done. I've said it was done. I've heard it was done. Okay. I mean, I've heard it was going to be done in October. Now, now it's allegedly going to be done in November. We're waiting on the official announcement. I'm confident this fight will be done. Okay. That's that's one of the big super fights. We got Triple G Canelo coming up uh September. You know, some people want to fight, some people don't want to fight. It's the trilogy, and eh, whatever it is, what it is. If you want to watch it, cool. Um, uh, the return of Deontay Wilder is supposed to be happening this year. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to take up a lot of, that's going to, that's probably going to be on pay-per-view. Uzik AJ over in Saudi Arabia. I believe that is what, that's August 20th. You know, we don't know. Tyson Fury might do an exhibition before the end of this year. Floyd's doing another exhibition. Um, it's a lot of things going on. David Benavidez is coming back in, allegedly in November. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of fights. A lot of fighters need to be put in these these last little bit of months. You know what I'm saying? At the end of this year. So a tank Ryan fight, in my mind, it's gonna it's gonna gather a lot of attention, a lot of eyes. They're gonna need to, you know, it's gonna be a really big event. And when it's really congested like that with a whole bunch of fights towards the end of the year, I don't see that happening. A fight of that magnitude is something that you plan for, like, you know. Uh, was it Cinco de Mayo week in May? Everybody knows to stay away from that. Kind of separate yourself. Put some weeks in between before that fight happens because you know what I'm saying they don't want to. They want to every fight, every fight that is announced, every fight that happens, every event that takes place. They want to try to maximize their dog. That's they want a lot of eyes on that particular weekend. Okay, the weekend before Tank and Ryan eh, might not do well. And and the weekend after you dang you dang sure ain't gonna do well. Not gonna lie to you, absolutely not gonna do well because everybody the promotion the super you know the, the machine is gonna be behind this this fight. Ryan Garcia, Javante Tank Davis, two stars going at it. 
Come on, man. You can't you can't lose with that. Oscar De La Hoya versus uh, uh Floyd Mayweather Jr. Part two. You know that press conference is gonna be crazy. The first one was crazy. Really think about it. Now we got Floyd up there saying, my fighter, Oscar De La Hoya, my fighter. Two different fan bases going at it. Boy, that, if that's not a Vegas fight, I don't know what is. Real talk. But um, I'm, it, as far as the fight, I think it's going to be a great, very great, entertaining fight. Anybody writing Ryan Garcia off, you're crazy. Ryan Garcia has skills. He has speed. He has power. His hooks are disgusting. All right. The question, the question is his chin. Tank will lose some rounds. Ryan Garcia is a bigger man. He's a, a lot bigger than Tank, but Tank can beat bigger guys. Tank has the power. Not only does he have the power, he has the ring IQ. Not only that, but his power lasts for 12 rounds. He could be down on the cards and then find out, oh, I'm down on the cards. All right, let me turn it up. And then get you up out of there. Drop you with a nasty body shot. Fake to the body, go to the head. Man, you don't know what's going to happen if Ryan Garcia gets hit by Javante Tank Davis. All I know is a fight of that magnitude definitely needs time to build. And this is exactly what Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather are doing. They're negotiating in public. They're doing what the fighters, well, well, what Ryan is already doing. Tank has a setting thing, but Tank has said things in the past on social media before. He's done interviews and said this and that. So, I mean, hey, listen, this is the biggest thing that they could do. They start with, you know, uh, start with the promotion, social media, on YouTube, smart. It was smart. Listen, it, I'm gonna say this. It was smart for Floyd Mayweather to do this negotiations, put the terms out, and negotiate with Fight Hype. He knows everyone's gonna have to go to Fight Hype on YouTube for the for you know the exclusive exclusive content. Everybody knows Fight Hype. That's that's Floyd's guy. All right, salute to them, man. They do a great job. I know a couple people over there work for them, but you know what I'm saying they do a great job over there. And guess what? If you're going to promote a fight, if you're going to have a timeline, guess what? We want every dollar out of that. We're going to control the narrative. And that's exactly what Floyd has said as far as telling uh, Oscar De La Hoya, listen, you know, you want to, you know, you got to do an interview with Fight Hype. That's one of my terms, you know, in negotiations. You got to do an interview with Fight Hype, respond to Fight Hype. But hey, Oscar De La Hoya, I guess he decided to do his own thing, which isn't going to help the fight get made any, any, you know, any quicker. It's just, you know what it is? People need to check their egos at the door. That's what it is. Oscar's got an ego. Floyd has an ego. Oscar may still be salty at the fact that Floyd beat him. You know, it was a split decision victory many years ago. What, about 20 years ago? You know, they've been going back and forth, talking crazy, throwing little jabs in the media at each other, social media and stuff like that. Ryan Garcia has an ego. Javante Tank Davis has an ego. Everybody's got an ego. Everybody needs to sit down. Put the numbers on the table. We know what's what. There's no you can't argue numbers. Okay. Find out what the pot is. Come up with the split. Check your ego at the door and let's make the fight happen for the fans. This is why I, I just I see it. We see it too many times in boxing. We know how they how you build up a fight. It takes time to build up a fight. You have to build a timeline. This is nothing but wrestling. This is nothing but wrestling. The goal is to be in a super big fight at WrestleMania, right? So the weeks on, on Monday Night Raw, you know, we'll just we'll just throw in WCW and Raw, all that stuff. You know, Raw, Thunder, uh, Monday Night Raw, this, that, and third. You have to build up. You have to build up a storyline. You have to keep the fans entertained. Follow this every week. Eh, 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 damn, he beat him up here. Uh, uh Oh, it's a great promo right here. Oh, okay. Oh, this happened, that happened. And it leads up to this big super match where it's no more talking, no more running. No more saying this in the media. No more lying to the fans. No more clout chasing. No more Twitter uh, tweets. No more social media posts. No more none of that. It's time to fight. We're going to have the big fight here at this event. This is what, what it is. They're building up the fight. This is why when Floyd says, oh, the fight can happen at the end of the year, the fight's not going to happen at the end of the year. Let's be honest. I see this fight happening May, honestly. I think the earliest in my mind would be May. Like I said, I mentioned Jojo Diaz wanting to fight Ryan Garcia. Cool. No problem. You fight Ryan Garcia one more time around what was it? It's July now. You got August, September, October, November, maybe November time. You know, that way you fought two times. Well, three times this year. You've been active. 
you look good, you know, you got momentum, let's go. Then you can make this fight for me with, with, between Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis. But, hey, you got to check the egos at the door. All right. With that being said, hit the like button, comment below, share, do all of that. I hope the fight does happen. Very entertaining fight. Um, Tank said he's going to be fighting, I, I think, in October. We'll see. I don't know who his opponent will be, but like I said, like I said, he has options. He's our Cruz. We could do a Roley rematch. Roley said he wants that fight again. You could do a Roley rematch. Um, Michelle Rivera, who says that he is Javante Tank Davis mandatory. I don't know how that you know works out with Javante Tank Davis having a regular belt, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. We'll see what happens with that. But we got options. I think Tank fights maybe Rivera. Roll uh Ryan fights uh Jojo Diaz. They keep talking. Like I said, they keep building the fight. Oscar and, and Floyd keep building the fight, keep building the fight. And then, then we meet maybe in May. And I don't know if if uh Ryan Garcia is gonna be fighting and staying in this game fighting for many years. Honestly, I feel like he is distracted. He is a star. He doesn't my thing is he doesn't have to. If he wants to, cool. He doesn't have to. I don't see any other really big, super big money fights for him besides a Tank Davis. Maybe they run it twice. I don't know. All I'm saying is hit the like button, comment below, share, do all of that. Listen, support who supports you. I support everybody. With that being said, it's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. I'm out.